Bobcat fans, we're here, student of the week. This segment sponsored by Roofmasters and Bubba's 33 in Longview, Texas. Our student of the week is Miss Olivia Tennyson. Olivia, how are you today? I'm doing really well. Now we're here for all kind of a variety of things. Main thing is we're the office aide to Miss Carr, and I know that's an important <laughs> job here at the high school. No, in all honesty, you're part of the Z Club. You've got an education endorsement. We want to be a teacher. I've got to ask just right off the bat, what makes you want to go in the educational field? Um, before it was just that my family, like I have, all the women in my family have like had teaching or been in education at some point. Uh -huh. um, but it really like junior year, I had Miss Farrell and I just like fell in love with it. And I was like, this is what I want to do. So has she, has she taken you to classes now? And have you got to observe and get in the middle of it? We've had, um, many opportunities we go like two or three times a week to go to classrooms and get that hands-on opportunity that's just they go lollygag somewhere yeah. not <laughs> no we actually work so, are so you have they given you the class for the whole day i mean no it's just for a couple hours are you want to do younger kids older kids um, what age group are we shooting for so right now i'm thinking like first grade because if you get into kindergarten and preschool they are snotty and then you when, you get into, with all that. when you get into high school, they're needy, and so yeah. I think first grade's right where it's at. <laughs> well, first grade, they're still, they're still sweet. You know, right. they still hug on you, and they, they're happy to see you. And then Ready when they to get learn. In, when they get into high school, they're not quite happy, and they're, mm. you know. No, I'm, I'm really happy here. We got good grades. <laughs> we got grades. We're in the top 100. We got grades. She's <laughs> we, saying, got grades. we got grades. <laughs> we got grades. <laughs> We're going to graduate next week, yes, right? Yes, we are. We're going to get We're to walk. Gonna graduate. <laughs> Um, you know, education is something that is honestly a calling in all seriousness. And, you know, I'm glad that we have people out there that are still wanting to stay in that field and affect so many lives. Uh, I've got to ask, has there been a teacher throughout? And I know you said Miss Farrell, but is she that teacher that jumps out to you that just you you think about when you think about wanting to become an educator? I think Miss Farrell and Miss Carr, they're both like that energetic and you can tell they want to be there. And you can see their, um, I don't know, they just like have that calling of just like they want to change kids' lives and you can see that in their heart. And because it can't be easy. There's bad days and there's good days <laughs> yeah. and there's times where you see your teachers more than you see your family at yeah. home and they've got to be there. And it, it's, again, a situation now. I, and I'll turn it over to Guy after this. And this is, you know, he's got the hard-hitting questions for right. you. We're also a pretty good tennis player, right? We're, we're okay. We're okay. Definitely, so, like, not awful. How did we get into tennis? <laughs> um, I am, a, like, all sports. I've tried every sport you can think of. And I got into junior high, and I was like, oh, look, there's a tennis team. And I just went and tried it, and I kind of fell in love with it. So are you, are you a racket thrower or a racket slammer when you don't – or do you just take the ball and <laughs> hit it out of, the, out of the park? I don't I don't really do all the the sissy stuff. I don't do that. I I'm, feel like you're very, like, you're, you're a baby if you do that. So if you throw a fit – Right, like a baby. And the, so you've and never the, been and the, kicked out of a match. Have you no. yelled at the referee I'm a at good, all? I'm a good kid. I don't do stuff like that. Huh. <laughs> you would do that? Well, yeah, if the referee <laughs> didn't – I didn't agree with the referee. You'd throw something, or, and if your opponent – I've had times where I've wanted to. So do you smack talk your opponent? In my head, I would. I don't think I'm brave enough to like go up to somebody and be like. You have a tennis racket. <laughs> you have a weapon. <laughs> so if we see you about to serve, having a conversation in your head, we know that you're actually meaning it toward your right, opponent. Right. Right. Mm right. -hmm. You can see it in my eyes, kind of. That's what my mom says. <laughs> so what other sports did we play besides tennis? Uh, I was. I swam, uh -huh. and I played basketball, and I played soccer. And I, I, I gotta know how many yellow cards you get in soccer. None. I'm not okay. I'm not a contact person. I'm not. That's why basketball didn't work out. That's why soccer didn't work out because I'm not a contact sport person. Swimming was probably the best because you can't smack nobody in the other. It's just me, myself, and I. So when you got past the basketball, it was like hot potato. Yeah, I was like, please take it, please take it. So, so working for Miss Carr in the library, you're not the one that goes and can. Uh, uh, Collects on the books. I mean, snatch nope, somebody out of I'm class. I'm not that guy. I'll give it to the other office aides. I'll be like, uh -uh. see, that's the job you want. If somebody's late on a book, you go get it from them and maybe break a finger or something like that. 
Well, you got to get the book. Money. Take the lunch money or something. Oh, I'll take the lunch money in exchange for the what, book. What do you do? <laughs> what in, on an average day? What do you do as an office aide for Miss Barr? Um, well, first we get attendance for all the teachers that aren't here, yeah. and then we sometimes get odd jobs from the office that they need us to take care of, and then Miss Carr will sometimes give us jobs around the library. So, do you get to help create any of the events that they have in the library? Um, sometimes we help like set them up and like design them and things like that so we have board games and things yeah and uh we have a whole section over there so sometimes we'll change out the games and is there any of them that you've you've created no i haven't yeah i wish i was like some of those ideas are so smart and different and i just so on fridays when you do the dance off oh do you get right in the middle of it i definitely start them i'm the start of the dance off but you don't finish the dance off no i just kind of let it grow from there huh Right. She's a hot man. I got you. I got you. You get everybody started, and then you go, okay, y'all got it. Yeah, like, yeah, there you go. Have fun. That's pretty awesome (laughs) right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. Well, Olivia, thank you for joining us. Uh, Do big things when you go in the educational field. It it does change people's life. We're glad you're there. Proud of everything you've done here at Hallsville. Fans at home, that's been Student of the Week. We'll see y'all next time.